Good morning everybody and welcome to a really sunny, beautiful autumnal North Nee Marina. Uh, we're lucky enough today to be looking at this absolute stunner of a proper British powerboat. She is of course uh, the uh, exceptional Fairy Swordsman 33. She's an aft cabin variant, she was built in 1970. Uh, she is called April Knight, she is quite special. Uh, we're going to go and have a really good look around her now. But, uh, just have a look at that. Let's go take a look on board. So as said, this is the wonderful April night. She is a very special Fairy Swordsman 33. She's the aft cabin variant. She was built by Fairy Marine Limited of Hamble Point. First moulded in 1970. Really interesting build process and a great amount of history and heritage behind this brand. So taking a deep V hull, which Raymond Hunt in the US had been developing, Alan V. Bernard took the lines of that hull, stretched them and turned them into these line of boats that we now enjoy today, running up from the smaller ducklings right the way through up to the Amira at 53 feet. So this is the Swordsman. She's the 33 foot hull. She was available in this variant, which has a dropped aft coach roof. So she's got absolutely stunning lines from truck to stern got a flat transom on the boats. The hulls are built on a male mould using strips of Agba veneer, which was a mahogany. It was laminated, glued and vacuum bagged under pressure using a resin just to keep the whole lot incredibly well laminated and extremely strong to this day. So let's have a look in a little bit more detail. April night is being extensively, but very sympathetically modernized. So we have hot and cold transom shower installed here. As you can see, her stainless is absolutely gleaming. Look at the polished effect on this. So she's been through two recent ownerships. Both have been fairly long-term, but both from chaps that really, really understand how to keep a boat very well. She has her own shed over the winter to keep her looking looking great and uh, as seen there she has extra portholes in the aft top sides just to give you a little bit more light into the aft cabin so we'll step on board here so very wide side decks they're laid in teak you've got handholds running right the way forward and a beautiful completely custom polished stainless steel radar arch which is supporting a new set of raymarine radar I've also got a beautiful screen which is heavily customised. So you've got these beautiful, beautiful sections running there. Timber mast with that lovely arched effect on it. Coach roof is in grey paint with coach roof rails. There is a pair of sun pads that just locate into these slots here and give you a big sun pad area on the foredeck. And then we've got this pair of opening hatches with the hooded covers on also. So the king plank is varnished. She's got the varnish margins around the forward end with a windlass up at the forward end and an ultramarine polished stainless anchor. Just running over that striker bracket. And we've got this beautiful cruciform forward cleat. I mean, the boat is just an absolute jewel. And if your favourite cars are E-type Jags, that kind of thing, you will understand the attraction that this kind of boat has. So she's A1 incredibly up to date. She has full new navigational electronics thanks to Axiom. All of the screws surrounding here are all correctly rotated. We have a new set of covers which were installed in 2023 to protect her. There's a lovely searchlight there also. The covers go over all of the side vertical surfaces and then we've got this large cover with a tilt that goes down over the aft deck. So let's have a crawl on board and get into her cockpit. It's a really nice pair of double seats here with grab rails behind in navy blue 
with white leather trim. We have box for storage of warps and storage of gas bottles over to starboard. Cockpit lights, again, illuminated in from under that radar arch. Loudspeakers also for your stereo. This is the navigator's area with a pair of Axiom Raymarine touchscreen MFDs. Just set them onto radar now, so we'll set that up to scan. Got the other one running just on conventional course planning. So a myriad of different options available from this setup. All installed in the last three years. Over at the main helm, we have the Fairy Marine wheel. Twin throttles in polished stainless steel, autopilot and then a Hydra 2, all of it functioning and the main engine controls and gauges for your pair of Sabre 225Ls with a lovely Cestral compass. Everything falls to hand. The throttles are really well sprung. Windless control, fuel tanks port starboard, then we have searchlight operation and your sea fire fire extinguisher and automatic fire suppression for the engine bay just there. Everything has rest hooks. Everything is correctly done on this boat, incredibly precise. So we have more alarm kits down here for safe running, bilge alerts, etc. And as you can see, the floor is sectioned with nine different compartments, all very well insulated to keep you insulated from the wonderful noise of these engine exhausts. So that's your companion way there. It's uh, two opening louvered doors, all highly varnished, and one hatch that just clips up against the screen when needed to rest. And then a beautiful dash panel, all highly varnished underneath the two screens. So those are the seats. They can be rested onto the floor, or they can actually be raised up to give you easier access, and that's your access into the after cabin. Let's head down. On the starboard side, we've got a load of Peter Stuyvesant and Toyota trophy wear for the boat. The present owner has done a huge amount of power boating. That's her plate there, built 1970. She is number 29 of the 61 swordsmen thought to have been built. She's running on a 24 volt system with 12 volt droppers as required and everything is just to hand. So we've got a beautiful ladder and it brings you down into this very open plan swordsman interior. So large wrap round leather bench to the port side. You've got the registration plate against the companionway stair. Got a removable table. But this swordsman is quite unlike any other I've ever been on. She is absolutely mint in terms of the original build and the finish. We've got locks on everything just to keep everything secure underway and everything is in gold so gold electro plate throughout got lighting underneath the deck which is really rare to see in one of these look at the finish on that table and on the floor j-shaped galley over to the starboard side with a tailor's grill there's the wonderful chihuahua mr monty dearly departed and here we have a heads compartment which has shower head set amongst the aft bulkhead. We've got a ventilator in here, We've got natural light. We've also got electric light and a Jabsco head. Little wrap round curtain to shield this lovely door with a couple of towel rollers also. So it's a thoroughly, thoroughly usable boat. That is the tonnage plates again for your British registry. Glazing is completely intact, has all been recently replaced. She is finished just to an exceptional level. I'll show you the bilge in a moment just to show you what I mean. Small oddments locker over to the port side. All louvered. Lovely bowed arch window there. Really great book by Charles Lawrence, which I gave to her owner. Very, very, very good for any fairy devotees. I hope it's still available. Then we've got a larder in here with an automatic light, three rack trays, so that keeps all of your odds and sods for the galley area. Neat, safe and tucked away. Everything again, locked. 
four drawers underneath the bed and then there's access down to the bilge and this has all been re-trimmed in a nice brown cloth. We've got further stowage. We've got this wonderful triform piercing underneath all of the surfaces just to get really good movement of air around. And those are the uh, sun pads for up here on top of this coach roof. And these are the opening lights there with little stays on either one. So there are two of those in the pierced coach roof. Really quality kit on board, all electroplated. And then we have a couple of power points here, which are just your three pin for working off your shore power when connected up. So she's obviously got a full shore power system, as you will have noticed. So looking off, we've got massive handholds, these great big columns, big lumps of timber. Fridge just tucked away in here, drawer above. We've got a couple of sinks in polished stainless steel, plenty of storage for your crockery set, just there. Glasses and crystal, and this shows you how good these lights are on the side. There is not an inch of moisture seen on board. This is a Taylor's, I think it's an 043 from memory, so it's a two burner hob with pan grips in it and has a, uh, a griddle and oven underneath. And your pan grips are just kept in this neat drawer here. This is a really, really well sorted boat. Uh, I would hate to think how much has been thrown in it recently, but just to show you what her inner bilges are like, they are freshly painted out absolutely dry as a bone the boat is just thoroughly thoroughly fit for purpose so that's our forward cabin with its heads and shower we'll walk aft through this cockpit and down into the aft cabin as you can see we have lights going down for ventilation there's a light either side so one into the heads compartment to port and one to light the double berth, and then there's a life raft on a cradle above. So cylindrical hatch above, sorry, circular hatch even. And then your aft cabin has drawer storage. It's just beautifully finished, so everything is inlaid. As you can see, we've got the Swordsman logo there, and then a small dressing tray with various bits of fairy memorabilia also on board. Her owner did like to uh, have a bit of a party, so we've got a really decent cocktail cabinet aft. Again, with its own lights, clock and barometer, and then this lovely hatch overhead opens to give you a bit of light and a bit more air. Removable Avtex television. Then we have this large double berth again with a side light and your main isolators are just down here just as you're heading up so really easy to remember whether you've got them on or off a couple of reading lights at the bed head and then we have this opening lunette light there and again another lozenge light into the berth area so it's a beautiful aft cabin it's thoroughly thoroughly traditional those are the tops for the cockpit lockers in there and a good hanging locker. Aft heads compartment has porcelain sink, fully painted out. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition. You would not believe that this boat is a 1970 build, so coming up on 53 years old. Everything functions on her and she is an absolute joy to be on board. Teak grating in there. This has just got a basin in it and a heads. And now we're going to pop up into the cockpit and we're going to run through the breathing heart of this boat, which is a pair of Sabre 225L diesel engines. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, Harry, please keep this on for reasons that shall become apparent. Uh, this is the engine bay of the beautiful April night. Fairy Swordsman 33, aft cab, 1970 build. She's running on a pair of these beautiful Sabre 225 
L's. Uh, they were fitted recently to her and they have, I can go and check the engine hours later on, but from memory about 180 hours. Um, it is an exceptional piece of kit. Uh, just to give you a quick tour around the engine room, we've got these thumping great engine beds that run right the way through. We've got nice main shaft seals down here with extra shaft uh, coupling carrier there. Here we've got a sea fire system. We've got 24 volt on this boat, it's a proper boat. So that's your fusing there. Um, we've got manifold for fuel delivery back here. Tanks are starboard and port outside of this engine underneath there. The whole floor comes up as you can see. And in fact, these bench legs pip up and then they have retaining pins that you can see in there. So I've got them up just to make it really easy. As you can see, each board locates into its own little roller housing. So the boat is phenomenally quiet under the underway. And she has soundproofing, as you can see, right the way around, engine bay lights. All the trunking's kept really neat inside this piping. Got inspection hatch uh, ladder down through there. Bilge pump down at the bottom, just after the companionway steps. And then this gleaming pair of sabers from Sunny Fern down in Dorset. Uh, and I thought you'd quite like to hear them spark up, so I'll uh, give it a whirl now. So we pop across these bearers, you can take the whole floor up. Let's uh, see if we can flick them into life. So, engine on. And firing. Zero throttle. Ooh, zero throttle. And with throttle.